Hi everyone, Amber here from Artizone. Today we're in my kitchen and we're doing a segment all around kale. Kale is one of the healthiest foods that you can eat. It's high in vitamin A, which is great for your eyes and your skin, vitamin C, which helps boost metabolism and your immune system, and vitamin K, which scientists and doctors have shown help prevent some cancers. One of the cool hip foods that's now made its way to the market is kale chips. And today what we're gonna show you is how you can easily make cheesy kale chips at home. What's great about this recipe is it's super easy and it only requires two utensils, a tablespoon and a one quarter cup. First, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of olive oil. What's great is if you don't like olive oil, you can use an avocado oil, a coconut oil, or a vegetable oil. Next, we've mixed one quarter cup of cashews and I pre-chopped them just to make for the ease of the video. We next move to two tablespoons of soy sauce. We have two cloves of garlic. We have a half of a lemon, squeezed, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and three-fourths cup of nutritional yeast. To combine all of your ingredients, all you need is a tiny blender. I use a Ninja. There's also a Magic Bullet, or you can use any small food processor that you have at the house. What you wanna do is you wanna start with your first two ingredients, which are your olive oil and your cashews. So we'll put our top on and we're blending and what you want it to look like is kind of like a peanut butter consistency. So let's take our top off. And from what you can see, it's, it's peanut butter, but it's kind of a chunky peanut butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients. We have our soy sauce, garlic, fresh squeezed lemon juice, our Dijon mustard, and our nutritional yeast. Put our top back on and we blend that all together. And we are all set. Now when you take the lid off, what you'll notice is that it actually looks a little bit more like a creamy peanut butter. One of the keys to making successful cheesy kale chips is that the kale leaf itself has to be extremely dry. So you want to make sure that you wash everything and prep it in enough time that you can kind of pull it apart. You see that I've done this step already to kind of make it easy and spread it out. If you have a salad spinner, I believe that would work as well. I've kind of always done it the old fashioned way where I let it kind of air dry or I pat it dry with a, with a cloth. So now comes the fun part. We're actually going to combine our cheesy mixture with our kale leaves. Having done this a couple times, please take my advice and note the best utensil for this is your hands. So it's a little bit messy, but you're gonna get the best result. When I first started making these, I was nervous that the leaves are gonna fall apart. But you can kind of bundle them up like you see here. It coats them really nicely and the leaves keep their shape. So as you do it, it's really gonna be to taste. If you like the taste of the mixture, just coat it on there get a thick layer, you cannot go wrong, and set it on your parchment paper. So we got our last little leaf all dressed up. Put them on the tray and pop it in the oven. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 200 degrees. They're gonna bake for one hour. So this is our final product. And what you're gonna notice is that as the kale's baked, it's shrank up a little bit and deepened in its green color. And to the touch, they're gonna be very crispy, just like a regular potato chip. So to get our recipe for cheesy kale chips and even more, visit us at artisan.com. Mm.